Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So um, I have been having a little sort out today um, and I am making some embellishments for the Folk of the Forest journal. Now I'm trying to finish my Christmas one before I go on to this one but I got so excited um, by because um, my printer's working. We have ink that I printed this out um, and I just wanted to have a little play. So the first thing, I'm going to go through the pages for you as well to show you because I've printed them all out and they all look lovely. So I'm really excited. But I did colour some seam binding today. So I've got some beautiful colours here, um, which I am just loving, um, which are sort of like foresty colours, aren't they? I've got a little bit sort of, sort of like this red because we've got um, red in the little gnomes on here and I just thought that looked really nice on there. Um, I've also coloured this, which is whatever I've done with it, which is the, um, the trim here. And this is really, really hard. So what I did, I scrunched it all up and made it wet. And then I coloured it with a little bit of um, the Distress Oxide inks in the greens. So I'm hoping you can sort of like see the difference. This is really sort of like quite stiff and it's softened up quite nicely. And it's coloured really well as well, which I'm quite surprised. I wasn't quite sure whether it would because it's got like a little shiny surface on it. Um, when I wet it and scrunched it all up, it sort of um, took that off. Um, and I just think that looks really, really nice now. And it's a little bit more manageable. Um, and I think it will look a lot nicer um, in the journal because this is what it would look like. This is the um, butterfly one and it's still really stiff. Um, but I prefer it obviously like this now. So that's what I have been doing. And I've cut the embellishments out. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the papers. Let's have a quick flip through. So if you were thinking about getting these, they are obviously in the shop now, in the Etsy shop, and I'll pop a link under the video. Um, we've got 20 pages um, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so excited because I haven't done a sort of like foresty, fairy, gnomey journal before. Um, so this will be the first time. So I'm just loving it. I'm loving the little singing toad on there. So we've got some beautiful pages, quick flip through. Um, and I just think these colours go really, really well with it. And the magical um, tree. So we've got some beautiful pages. That's like a, like a wood finish on there. This one I love, um, which has got the little twinkly stars all over it. So it's very magical, um, which I do absolutely love. And then we've got them in the um, little postcard sizes as well, um, which are beautiful, lovely words. And these have got all the little sparklies on as well. Um, and I have added um, some stickles to them. So I'll show you in a minute. These have got some mushrooms, we've got some journaling cards, we've got a couple of pockets. I've popped a couple of butterflies sort of like in between. Um, and we've got some belly bands on there. These are the um, embellishments. Now what I did on these, I wanted to show you, I put sort of like a little background on it. So when you cut them out, wherever they are, like this little gnome, um, you haven't got a white edge on it. And if you're not an Inca, um, then it's quite nice. You know what I mean? You've got it out and it's got like a dark background on it already. So that's why I put that sort of like shadow around it. Um, and I just think that it looks really nice and also on these as well, which I have torn out some of them and I have um, cut it out with my little circle punch as well. But I just think they are gorgeous. So I'm very, very excited about starting my journal. Now, I just wanted to just have a little play. Um, so I thought I would just show you a couple of ideas. Now, this one, I've got the Dance of the Gnomes, which is one of the little... Um, embellishments and I've just popped some of the um, tapology. I'm going to probably use quite a bit of tapology stuff in this one because we've got the the fibres which are just beautiful and they are perfect colours for it. 
I also have these beautiful rub-ons which work really well and I also have these lovely um, stickers so I'm going to be using those in the journal as well and probably lots of the ephemera will go in here um, but I'm loving it and these are the fibres on here and this one I've just got the string I've got the little bit of red um, seam binding there and I've cut off some of the leaves and just stuck them onto the string like that so looks really nice so these little ones here which are the ones that I've, I've just popped in between like this just as a little bit I actually punched them out with my little punch I think it's the three quarters of an inch punch on here this one um, and I just punched them out so they are like little circles so these are like little embellishments aren't they and you can use them as sort of like little closures and things like that this one I just fussy cut round and look they just look so lovely look at that lovely fox and I've just popped the little stickles on there as well just to make it a little bit more magical which I just think they look lovely so I'm going to what I wanted to do I wanted to do this one which says fairyland because um, this doesn't have a huge amount on it um, I'm using some of this which is from Tapology as well and I wanted to oh actually the other thing I use I did was these which are little matchsticks well they're not they're like these um, it's just like well they are matchsticks um, and I just sprayed them with some distress um, oxide spray because I wanted to make like a little fence or something in the journal as well make a little fence as a pocket um, so I'm going to try and do that um, but also I'm just going to take two because what I thought I might do is pop that on there let me just cut a piece of this off what did I do with my scissors under my papers there we go so I want to put this down I'm going to cut a little bit of this off like that let's see if this will work um, and then I want you to like wrap that around there like that so you've got top and a bottom and then sort of hang it up if you know what I mean like a little um, hangy thing like a little um, plaque thing you know what I mean so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there take one of these and just push these in just a little bit sort of turn that over might be easier with my glue gun than sort of wet glue just want to push it in so we can see this little bit I think you can probably get these little matchstick things everywhere um, and obviously you can colour them any colour you want to but I think the brown just looks will look perfect and to make I'm going to try and make a little sort of fence thing um, to go in there so I'm going to sit that on there not that straight is it let's pop another one at the bottom a little bit of glue like that might be better if I just leave it to dry for a second let's put the lid on there stuck with glue pop this on and just roll it over like that so if the little fence works it will, they think it will look really really pretty won't it um, in the journal as a little pocket so that's like that that's what I thought they would do Oops. then I'm going to stick this on like that maybe have a little bit of string or maybe a little bit of wire or something to hold that let me just stick this on like this just on this middle bit like that 
Let's just stick that down. And then I did have, I think I did a bow on the end of one of these to try it. Oh no, there's a bow, look. There we go, I thought I did a bow. Just a little bow on there. Should we have a little bit of this underneath? This is just perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect for um, the journal. Look at all these lovely, obviously you can take this apart and use bits of thread, um, the um, fibre on its own. That's like the eyelash thread, isn't it? Love it. Okay. I'm going to just, I think I'll have it dangling down. Let's put that on there. I'm going to make a big mess. Stick that on. Like that. And I'm going to pop the bow on the top. So you can make some really simple little ones or some little bit more sort of extras in there. But doesn't that look lovely? Squeeze that down like that. I like that. I do like that. Now, we can have this as just like an embellishment, can't we? Now, shall I put string or shall I pop a little bit of wire? I got. Let me find. I've got this um, wire of BB Crafts. So, shall I just. Probably should have done this in the beginning. Let's just wrap that around. Take that. Shall we have it? I don't want it too long, do we? Get my little pliers. Like that. Take this. Just wrap that around there. Like that. Oops. And then we can just like hang that up. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Then we could probably put, should we have a little bit of greenery on the top? Could have a few little leaves on there. Could do with something a little bit shiny, couldn't it? Or maybe we'll just have one of the little, the little um, stars. We have some greenery and some stars. I'm going to cut this off. Let's just cut off three of the leaves like this. Oops, my scissors will work. There we go. Lovely. Let's put these leaves on. can go this side and then we'll just have one up here like that should we pop this one or should we have a little pop a little star on there a little bit of glue I think I might try and find or make some little flowers because I think little flowers would look nice on here. So I need to make some little mini flowers. But look at that. I think that looks really, really lovely. I am going to enjoy making this journal, I think. Look at that. Lovely. And another idea I had while I'm doing this, before I put it all away to carry on with my Christmas one, um, was make like a frame around here with these little, this is my little origami pouch. Came in rather handy, didn't it? So I thought I would make a little frame to go around where it says woodland. What do you think? I think that's a bit bendy. Shall I pop, where's my card? I've got a little bit of card here I could probably use. Let's just 
So let me just glue it down. Probably easier if I just glue it down and then cut it, wouldn't it? Let's just glue this down. Put that on there. This is just the card that I backed my tags with because I thought that was quite nice. This is just card that I did. I think I coloured this last summer or even the summer before. It's just I get my card in great big sheets um, and then I sort of like tea stained it and coffee stained it out in the garden in the summer um, just to give it a nice grungy sort of look. And these are bits that I had left over. It's just, and I think it's sort of like a nice colour to go in the journal, isn't it? If you see the back of it, not that you'll really see the back. Okay, so that's just, oops, hardened that up just a little bit. Okay, so what should we stick it on with? Should we stick it on with a little bit of this? It's just going to make a bit of a mess. If it does, I can always make another one, can't I? doesn't matter let's just have a try okay and then what I need is just so I just break that off I can actually actually it looks quite nice broken doesn't it it's a bit more rustic oops We need some tweezers. It's not bad. I don't mind it hanging off the edge. And shall I just will that fit? Yes, that will fit on there. Might be better to stick it down with some tacky glue, I think. I think the fabric tack is a bit bit much. Stick that down. Gosh. Nice and messy. Yeah, I think I think if you're gonna do this, I would do it with a little bit of tacky glue in your little glue pot. But I'm gonna carry on with this for now. Let's stick this long one on. there just break that off there we go a little bit of glue on there stick that down which bit did I have was it that piece nope I think it was this piece wasn't it oh I do like it I do like it Look at that. Oh, I think that looks great, doesn't it? Stick those down. Yes, but I think probably a little bit of tacky glue better. It's less fiddly and less messy, I think. And I like it that these are broken off as well. I probably would have broken this one off. But that looks great. I love it. So I'm going to leave that like that. So that's a couple of embellishments. So that's the type of sort of like thing that I'm going to be doing, um, which is nice. Look at that. I love it. Look at this. Nice and woodlandy, isn't it? I think. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you the papers, flip through the papers and a few um ideas on how to do it if you're making yours now um, and look I've just added the little bits of stickles on there which I think just give it a little bit of 
magic in your journal. Look, the little fairies on there, which look beautiful, and the little toadstools, little magic toadstools in there. And this one, look at him, look, isn't he gorgeous? So there we go, guys. Um, I hope you're going to be making one and I would love to see it and love to see how you you making your embellishments as well um, and colouring some seam binding or using what things that you are going to use in your journals but there we go well thank you so so much for joining me um, have a fantastic rest of the day stay safe and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye